What's up guys, this is Faux Editing or Faux TK and this is going to be the video for the car rigging or setting up, whatever, car setting up for animation because a lot of people said, you know, that's not car rigging, you're not using bones. I use it as the term rigging ready to be animated. So, you know, if it means moving the reels, you know, setting the anchor points and all that stuff, in my in my mind that's rigging. So that's what I meant by that. Um, so, you know, I'm just going to crack on with it. Uh, first of all, we've got the... Ford Focus from the model pack which I uploaded a couple of days ago um, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, rig it for you um, and you can you know carry along uh, so you can do it yourself and uh, not just on this car on the others as well if you wish to do so um, so first of all as you can see we've just got single meshes um, which is pretty standard what comes with a model um, and it's always easier to have these uh, when you come to rigging or setting something up. Uh, you can do it if they was all connected and to just one mesh, but that just gets a bit more fiddly and takes a bit more time. But we're going to do it with just single mesh today, uh, sing like individual meshes. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort out the wheels because that's the main part of the car which will move if, you know, if it's driving along, say, in a video. So what I want to do is I want to just come down to this one and select everything about the wheel that I can uh, so that's fine I think that's, that would be alright so then you just right click one of these which have come up highlighted and then go to group object and there we go we've got a group and what we can do is we can hide the group and we can see now that that's every part of the wheel gone so we know everything that's you know all the wheel meshes are in this folder and what we want to do is we just want to do that for each one Oops. So I can't do this one. Now I'm going to deliberately leave out. Oops. I'm going to deliberately leave out the caliper here, because if for some reason you select what you think is everything, group it, and hide it, you think, oh shit, I've missed something like this. All you have to do is just drag it and drop it into the relevant group, which mine will be no one. Um. So then that way. You know, it's all together. Nice, easy fix. So let me just go around and do the rest. Group and hide. Yeah, that's all good. Group and hide. Right, that's all good. So now what we can do is we can just unhide all those. And we want to rename them. So find which one it is. That one's the front left. So I'll just call it, oops, it's not doing it, oh finally, there we go, so front left, so FL wheel, for front left wheel, this one's the rear left wheel, so it's RL, so that's how I sort of do things, just so you can know which one it is, because if you're trying to find it later on, that will be a bit of a pain if it's not all named. And once that's all good, what we can do now is set the anchor points. Because if you start rotating, you know, it's going to be, you know, moved among this point. So if I start just like rotating it, and that's not what we want. So control Z that. Right. First of all, this is how I would do it, uh, especially for wheels. Because these are all in line, I'll select just both the front wheels. There we go. And then I'll come into side view. Oops. Zoom all the way out. And there we go. So our anchor point's here. And because the both front wheels are aligned, we can move the anchor points together, both of them. So come to the left tool here. And we can move this freely without affecting our mesh. And we want to select, you know, oh, sorry, we want to move the red point here into the very dead very, sorry very dead center of the the wheel or the spokes which will be about here there we go and it's there because I'm using this line as reference and this line as reference so if I now zoom out that's dead center and both front wheels will be positioned here instead of in the center so then all we need to do now is just that's the front right just move that to anywhere along this line it doesn't really matter 
preferably in the centre though, I usually keep them, but it doesn't have to be accurate this one. So there we go. So then we'll come into side view again and we'll just select the rear wheels. And again, pop the anchor point in the centre. Now as you can see here, these wheels are not aligned. Which is a bit of a pain, isn't it? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab one and move it. So, oops, sorry, take off the anchor point tool. And then I will move this one so it is aligned. There we go, that will do. And then select anchor point tool on again, select both rear wheels and pop it in the center. Now again it's still not accurate but I can see a lot better. So there we go. Zoom out and then it's just popping the other ones in place on the um, uh, the red axis. And there we go. That is our wheel set up. So if we could take off our anchor point tool now, select this wheel, but make sure you've got the group selected. And we there we go. Wheels spinning freely. Now, this is a mistake I made in my last video. I grouped all these together, or in the animation I'm, at, uh, I'm making actually. The calipers don't actually move uh, when a car drives. So, um, what I'm going to do is, because I've just totally forgot again, because I'm just so used to just like grouping the wheels together, um, I'm going to take both of these and drag them out. Which you really shouldn't have selected those in the first place. Um, and there we go, so now if I rotate this, it's just a wheel and spokes, which is sort of what you want. And so I'm just going to do that with the rest of them. So these mistakes happen, but it's just fixing them. Uh, those two, and then just drag them out. Go around the other side. This is just where it all gets a bit fiddly, but... The more you rig cars and whatnot, you know, these things you'll just automa automatically know and you just won't do it again, so it's all part of the practice, isn't it? Right, so there we go, so that's our wheels done. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide all of those, because we know they're done, so that's fine. We would, you know, we don't need to see them again. We can focus on other things that we're going to, you know, animate. So here we go, the the bonnet, or hood, uh, depending on where you're from. <laughs> um, again, come to side view. And you can see the mesh here, and it's all pretty much anchor point positioning for uh, for this tutorial. Um, but it's you know it's where you put them. Now a bonnet usually will open up from the window, you know, from this direction going up. However, I've lifted the bonnet and uh, I don't like that. Sorry, I'm going to delete this this layer here. And I'm just going to focus on this one because this will act as our bonnet. So yeah, usually it, it you know opens up like that. However, most cars like supercars might have that as a boot because their engine is at the, the rear. So, um, depending on where you want it, you can move your anchor point to... Just for tutorial purposes, I will keep it standard to about... E what you want it? Uh, okay, we'll just do it on the very corner. There we go, and that's fine. And um, luckily enough, our other red axis is dead in center, which is what we want. Check that off and start rotating it. Boom! That's our bonnet. And then you want to come down, and find it, and just rename it bonnet. And I bring that up to the top, just below the wheels, um, and then hide that. So what else have we got? We got the uh, doors. We can do. Oh, for God's sake! This one's a bloody. Oh, okay. Well, unfortunately for this one, you will have to separate this door if you wish for it to open. However, the front doors aren't connected, so that's cool. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the door and select the mirror and find whichever mesh. There we go. Well, I'll go to the top one and then right-click and group them. Bring that up to the top and then hide it. And I know for a fact I've got the window itself and uh, parts of the mirror missing, so select those, come down and drag those into our group and they'll automatically hide. And I think that's all we need from the door. There we go. And then we'll just call that uh, left door. And uh, I'll keep that one 
hit, uh, visible for now. However, I will just go and select the other one. Which I think is those. Hide. Oops. Yeah, that's all good. And then call this R door. Now, like I said, go into side view. They're most likely going to be the same. The same anchor point between the two doors. So, there we go. And move it freely into the position where it will be pivoting from. So, I would say about here. Check off. Um, the only problem is the red axis we will have to adjust. So, I'll just come and top you for that. And then select the left door. Pop that there. And the right door. Pop it there. So, there we go. If I just open one of the doors, the left one. Boom. We now have an opening door, which is cool. And we can hide those. So as you can see, I'm just working through the car, and then anything that is static will, will remain. So spoilers won't move, you know, lights won't move, all that kind of stuff. Um, oh, it's got a bootlet. Right, the spoiler is going to move on this occasion, because the boot's going to move, and the spoiler is attached to the boot, as you can see. So I'm going to select those, and group them. Right, now let's have a look, because I first time doing this. So I'll hide those. Windscreen and wipe, oh, the wipers connected. That's another thing we've got to do, the wipers. Uh, drag that in the, the group. So we've got the parcel shelf, we've got the other standard spoiler. And that's all we've got for our boot. So we can rename that. Boot or trunk. Is that what it's called? Trunk. Um, so there we go. And again, anchor point. Uh, that will go at the very top. Ooh, I have a problem here. Look at how the boot will open. It will actually interfere with this spoiler. So, that spoiler, sorry, it's coming with. So pop that in the boot as well. And let's position that right at the corner. It's already in the centre, so that's fine. And boom, the boot is open. I don't like this spoiler here, but unfortunately, if I didn't have it, I'd only be able to make a rotation like that. And that's not a boot, is it? You know, a boot will open up to at least that, that angle. So we're just going to keep it like this for tutorial purposes. Um, otherwise, it's going to just take way too long. And then we can hide the boot. And the wipers, here we go. Now, the wipers have always got a problem. Um, because no matter how much you adjust the anchor point, you know, that they will always fall into the, uh, the window as you animate them. So, this is how I will do it. And unfortunately, I've got two sets of wipers here. Uh, we don't want that one. And we don't want that one. Actually, no, I'm gonna keep those. Uh, no, no, I'll delete those. We'll just have the standard ones which are down here. So, First of all, I'm going to grab both of these, drag them to the top, so I know where they are, pop that below the bonnet, and then I'll come into side view again with the anchor point tool, select both of them and just bring it up closer, and then we'll have to work with one at a time, so this one's the left wiper, I guess, so we just need to make sure this is in position, so we'll go top view. That's about there. And that one's about there. And now instead of just moving the anchor points, we need to rotate them. So this is where it starts getting a bit tricky. It sort of needs to be aligned up. So about there and there, I'd say. Just need to make sure that this is in the centre of this face to about there. There we go. Because that's where the the movement will be coming from. And again the same, so fucking eight bloody you know, anchor point rigging, it's crap. But it needs to be done. So there we go. And I'll come off the anchor point here. So we can now freely move our oops. We can rotate our um, wipers 
But if I do that, you can see they are falling into the glass. Um, so no matter what you're going to do, it's not going to help. So when you come to animate them, what I'll do is I'll sit a keyframe down, I'll move it forward, you know, rotate it, and then I'll just lift it up on this axis until it's outside the window. Oops, a bit too much. It's about there. And then I'll just come back to the original position. So then that's how... See, look, it's still going under. But unfortunately, it depends on how you work it, you know, you know how you work it. You could just keep it on top of the glass. It's just one of those things that, get, you know, is a bit difficult. So there we go. This one's the L wiper. And this one's the R wiper. And we can hide those. Right, so then you get the gist, guys. I mean, you've got, obviously you've got steering wheel and uh, gear stick, which you can also separate. Um, that's pretty much it for the car, because... So I'm just double-checking. Yep, the doors are connected, so I'm not going to go into that. It's pretty much just the steering wheel left to do, um, if you wanted it done. Uh, that's the interior as well. So there we go, guys. I'm going to unhide it all. And I'm just going to create a little animation, like, just to show the the movement of the the car that we've created. So I'm going to make the wheels move. And if you want to know how to do what I do here, um, it's under the the video Car Dynamics Tutorial, which I've posted up, I think it was about a week ago now. So it's, it's quite recent, so you can go and check that out. So I'll just go to the Vibrate tab, go to Rotation, Add 360, and I'll just add a one of those and do that against the other front one so if I uh, front left we want don't we front left rear left that one so there we go the wheels are spinning yep 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 we'll just animate the boot there we go if you can hear the dogs I do apologise um, however they are not going to stop Right, and then we'll just do the do the left door. Nothing spe special, it's just going to be opening and closing and whatnot. And the bonnet as well. So what I'll do is I'll play that for 90 seconds, or 90 frames, sorry. There we go. And if you really want to, you can... Uh, separate the whole body from the the wheels. So here are the wheels. Then we can select everything from our doors down, group, ankle, body, and then we'll add another vibrate tag. Instead of that, we go to position, and I think we'll go to five for each of them. Uh, no, we'll go ten, and we'll increase the frequency to five. So there you go. It's like a turbulent type suspension effect on the car. And if you really want the front wheels to move, it's really easy. You go to, because obviously you cannot turn the front wheel if you've added a rotation effect onto it. So easy fix. Right click, group it. Right click and group that one. And there you go. You can now turn that one as much as you like and it can still spin. However, if you've got a funny sort of angle of anchor frame like that just come fix the rotation to naught there we go and come off that so again I'll just show a, a brief animation we're gonna make the wheel go right left so this is where obviously your calipers will have to be in place so um, you know what if I get for the tutorial I'm gonna do it uh, so where have we, what have we got? We've got that as the wheel, which is spinning. So we need to find these parts and drag them into this folder. So below the actual, so main wheel, I'll just call it just to show you, um, we should have the disc caliber and the wheel itself. So we can now turn the wheel together, but the tire was, tire will spin, uh, separately. So it's just positioning it in the, you know, in the object manager and folders. So there we go. 
the wheels are moving, tyres are spinning separately, the body's shaking with all the doors and that impairing to it, and that's all good. So that's how you can sort of make your animations, guys, so, uh, with cars. Um, so I hope it helped, um, and there's a few more tutorials coming out soon, which I'll do uh, when I can. Just kind of sort of been a bit busy, so that's why the uploads are kind of slacking, but there we go. Um, they are on their way, so I'll see you later, guys. Peace.